Okay. These are some of the folks that I had in AP Calculus BC last year. I'm Brian Johnson. Damian Torres. Allison Krebs. Dan Daniel Morris. Ryan Lee. Omar Young. Thanks. Okay. And I wanted to have a panel to come and talk to you folks and let you guys know what it was like to be in the class. And I've asked them several, uh, several questions that they're willing to answer and give you a sense about what the class is like. So I'll start with this. First question I want to ask is, what was the workload like in the class? The homework? Um, like in comparison to like chemistry, you had to like memorize ions. And like for like calculus, like it includes like basics, like algebra and stuff. So I've been doing that for like years. So it's much easier to like understand it. And the workload was like like one hour per night or like one like one and a half hours per night. So it wasn't too bad. So it, it varied a bit depending on if you got the lesson or not. So sometimes you might get stuck on a problem and you'd have to come back to it in class and figure it out. But I mean, honestly, the people in this class are AP students and they're used to having this amount of workload. It's not anything extreme. And I mean, I did outside activities. I was still able to manage the workload. Was there ever a time that any of you felt like, I'm not gonna get this idea? Not the whole class, but I'm talking about a single concept. Anybody have that feeling ever? There's times where I felt like I was stuck and kind of wanted to give up, but then I, you just have to be persistent and not give up. And just stay, if, if you don't get the thing, stay after school. I know you are here till like five or six if we need it. And eventually, if you like work hard enough, you'll be able to understand. Well, it's obvious that all of you are able to plow through it. That's, that's a tremendous uh, attribute to all of you. That's very good. Yeah, some, some topics took more time to grasp than uh, others, so you just kind of have to work your way through it. Mm -hmm. And what were, you know, why don't you be specific on that? What were the topics that you felt took longer than other things? And that could be even the comparison between A, B, and B, C. Um, well, a lot of the A-B um, parts or to topics of the class were a lot more fundamental and were easier for me to grasp. Um, so then once we got past uh, halfway mark in our second term, uh, and we started to learn about um, se sequences and our summations and all that, it was just relating it, the math to the real, real world uh, uh, attributes were, became tricky at times. Mm -hmm. What did you feel, Daniel, was the, the, the hardest topic for you personally? Did you have a hardest topic? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd have to say it was just generally the BC part and then probably the wording of the free response questions. Okay, studying, getting ready for the AP exam. What was that like? I'd like to hear a few viewpoints on that. Oh. Well, <laughs> like I said, this was one of the many few AP classes where we actually finished all the curriculum in plenty of time to actually practice a lot for the test, which I think helped prepare me a lot, and I never felt rushed. So the AP test, um, we, had, we had to rush a lot, so we would have to study on our, on our own, but in class, we would take practice tests, and after you're done with your practice tests, you would go home and do more practice tests. So, I probably spent about an hour to two hours studying after school every day, and I also had a TA fourth term, which helped me, which helped me out a lot. Very good. Thank you. And Brian, I'm going to ask you specifically. You decided it was about two thirds of the way through the course that you were having difficulty with the BC material and you wanted to just take the AB test. Talk about what you did. I just decided to stick with AB and for anyone who's having trouble, if you just continue pressing through and studying real hard, you'll get it. And I ended up with a four on the AB, so I made it. Yeah, congratulations. That's really cool. Uh, we can't forget about the juggling. <laughs> the most important part of this course, 
And uh, I think you were going to yeah. say something about that. Yeah, the juggling portion of uh, calculus, I really thought that was a great stress reliever part that Mr. Shuttle added in, and a great analogy too. It's more, calculus is more about practice, and you know, practice makes perfect. You gotta familiarize yourself with the problems just like you have to do with juggling. And the juggling portion he added in, it helped, you know, relax, you know, have some fun. He made the class a lot of fun by adding the juggling in. Okay, I wanna hear from all of you. If you had to do again, if you had to do over again, would you take the course? Yeah. Yes, it was fun. Yeah, yes. okay. definitely. <laughs> so it was a definite positive thing, yeah. experience for you. Yeah. Okay, now you're seniors this year, so what are you doing? Like, for the math. math. Yeah, just for in all your courses, what are you doing? AP stats. Okay, so you're taking AP stats. Other AP classes? Yeah. yeah. AP, yeah. AP, econ, 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 biology, yeah. Yeah. Holy God, you guys have a full load. Are you going to have fun your senior year? Oh, yeah. Yes, the challenge is. <laughs> That's <so> awesome. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Uh, they're not really, except Brian did give his score away, but if you want to know what they got, just look on the wall, and uh, they're beaming, you can tell. They did a great job. Thank you guys and Gal for uh, doing this, and uh, it's a great experience, and they're showing you that it is.